Hey everybody, I'm Jim. This is Warren. You're watching Talking Vintage, brought to you by Decades Reclaim Vintage Depot, located at 502 West Brennan Road, Lakeland, Florida, 33813. Today is show number 68. And that is one 68. ugly eight. Yes, one yeah. ugly eight. Oh. <laughs> it is May 23rd. May 23rd today. I um, want to tell you about some, well, not going to tell you about events. If you're looking for events that Decades having, check it out on the Facebook page here. Um, even if you're watching us on YouTube, go to the Facebook page. It'll tell you all the events that Decades has going on. Continuing, continuing events are the Vendor of the Week. We went from one vendor to two vendors. Um, two Vendors of the Week. Cool. Yes, yes, we did too. And what basically what it is, those vendors are <clears throat> putting their, their booth on sale, a percentage, a percentage off. Um, we've had some up to 75% yes, off. Yeah. yeah, so... And that's going to continue. So that's an ongoing <clears throat> event that Decades has. Okay, today, uh, May 3rd, today is Lucky Penny Day. I, I don't know. I guess if you find uh, May 23rd, 23rd, sorry. Yep. Um, if you find a Lucky Penny today, it must be really lucky. How do you know it's lucky? Yeah, I don't know. National, ti National Tile Track Day. Tile Track Day. Title track. Oh, sorry. title track. Title track. Oh, I'm reading my notes trying to figure out what the heck I'm talking about. I guess you take albums and only play the title track. I guess. So when you go home today, only play the title track off of an album. You can't play anything else. And if you're looking for records, we have them. Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, birthdays today. Drew Carey. I know him. Yeah. Price yeah. Is right. Aaron Donald. Yeah, he's a football player. But he's still playing somewhere. He's not football a football player. Football. Oh, Aaron Dunn. Yeah, yeah, he's, guy. yeah he's not I'm a thinking of the big guy. Ah. I'm thinking of the and Joan guy. Collins. Oh, she's still going? I don't think she's with us anymore. No? I don't know. I really don't. Okay, we're moving on. We're going to play our game. It's called What's in the Box. It's where I give Warren some clues, and he has to guess what's in the box. Okay, I didn't do the beginning of this. I noticed that one after I finished this show. Um, but uh, it, it would fit in a small box and wouldn't be too greatly heavy. I'll give you that. Okay, a modern version appeared in Scandinavia in 1900s. They covered the line. Yeah, I know. Years. They appeared in English shops made of tin in the middle 18th century. Painted rubber ones appeared as early as 1800. Hmm. They have the same name as a football term. <laughs> but many do not consider using them again. Using them again? Again? Again, again yeah. Again. I have no clue. They are used around the world for fun and to put food on the table. Plate? Eh. A dish. They are tossed, flicked, dragged, and sometimes wind up in trees. A kite? A frisbee? You can't keep guessing. You're done. This is for everybody else. Would you care to cast at your guest? Okay. Cast at your guest. Okay. You fishing lures. Fishing lures? Yep. Moving on. Yep. Fishing lures. Vintage trends. Uh, Mid-century modern. It seems like it's always trending. But century, Mid-century modern Tupperware. Um, you know, as, as things get slower at our shop, it's easier to tell what trends you know, because when you're doing a ton of business, it's really hard to tell. And it seems like everything is selling, but as it slows down, it's kind of easy to tell. So mid-century modern and Tupperware are trending. Um, what is not trending is plain ceramics and glassware, just plain stuff. Glassware so, went yeah. down again, huh? Well, it hasn't gone down. The colored <laughs> stuff and the fancy stuff is still selling, okay. but the plain stuff is not. All right, moving on. This is our Vendor Corner segment where we talk about... Um, things for vendors, vendors at shops like ours, okay? And here's a question for you. What do you do when the shop is slow? The classic answer is to shuffle, yep. rearrange, and reprice. And those are all good things. Um, but how about, like, do a little deep dive and you take a look at your past sales and see if you can identify something that's trending, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and then go out and get that. So, um and then spend a little more time buying. You know, people, oh, I'm not making the sales, I'm not gonna buy. Well, what happens when you start making the sales again, you don't have the stock that you need. So um, now's the buying time, especially for Christmas and stuff like that. You know, summer people are just giving away Christmas stuff. 
you pile it up, you get it ready for the Christmas season, uh, which, you know, before you know, it'll be upon us. Um, yeah, so you need to do that. And then um, self-promote. We've talked about that before. It's slow, self-promote. You know, if you've got more time because you're not making sales, I don't know how that equates. You know, I don't know, maybe you don't spend as much time in your booth because you're not bringing as much in. Okay, whatever, but self-promote. Yes. Um, you're at a shop or a mall or whatever, but you're your own business. You're your own store within that mall. You need to self-promote. So get it out there. Let your friends know. Do whatever you can. And I think we talk about that. Um, I, I, we've talked about that in a show before, and I think a show coming up, we're going to be talking about that more. All right, so we're going to move on. Here's our joke. Um, why did the sailors have to stop playing cards? Because the captain was standing on the deck. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, I'll give you that one. I once knew a shy pebble who wished she was a little bolder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question and answer in time. Um, if you're a vendor, what do you do when it's slow? Since I don't have any answers to past questions, I'm going to pose another question that we won't get any answers to. Yeah. So, but, yeah. Yeah. If you're a vendor and you had a shop or whatever, what do you recommend? What do you do when it's slower? Okay? And that's it. Ask a friend what they're talking, what they're looking for. Promote your shop. Ask a friend. We already said all those things, things, but we're asking them what they would do. Okay, what they would do. You can't make the answer for them. Then they're not going to answer. That's right. They're not answering anyways, but it's okay. Forget that one. Yeah. All right. In closing, we want to thank everybody for watching our show. Um, it's Decades Reclaimed Vintage Depot that brings you to the show, Talking Vintage. We, we, what show was this? This was That's 68. Yeah, 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 man, yeah, we, yeah, we're yeah, climbing yeah. up there. It doesn't count the pandemic ones, and I think there was probably, I don't know how many of those. But, those were yeah. fun. Uh, if you want to see more of us or the show or past shows, you can check us out on YouTube, Decades Reclaimed on YouTube. Yeah. Um, we appreciate that. We've had a total of like three, four views on, on a show here or there. But we are. We're there. We're there on YouTube. Um, you can always see us every week here on Facebook. Um, it's the Shane Show on YouTube. So don't think the you're getting show. the Shane Show. It's the Shane Show on YouTube. Don't think you're gonna get anything special there. You can come and see us here in person. Too, well, they right? could. They, they you can come to the shop. Yeah. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm Jim. That's Warren. Thanks for watching. Talking Vintage.